Hi guys, I'm back. I'm continuing with my um, kids' nail series. Um, nails for your children. Um, here I've base coated two nails with my vanilla acrylic paint. And I'm going to be creating a few cupcakes on these. First one I'd like to create is going to be one nail and then the other one I'll put maybe two cupcakes on that. So for my first nail design I'm going to use red for my cupcake liner. The brushes that I'm using come from my local craft store or beauty supply and my daughter now what I like to do is I just like to use the paint in the cap. So for this one I will be creating the cupcake on half the nail. like that. It's a little hard to see upside down so I'm sorry. Let me see if I can make this a little neater. I think that's pretty good for right now. Now I'm rinsing my brushes out in water every time I use it making sure that they stay nice and clean and ready for my next application remember to cover your your bottles every time when you use them so you don't make a mess now my next color I'm going to use it's going to be a tan acrylic water based paint again I'm using it right out of the lid. As soon as that red dries I might come back and give it a second comb but it's just to give you the idea on how to create these cute little cupcakes. So this one here just creating a little border like that. Now this is going to be a chocolate cupcake so I'm going to put chocolate on top which is actually chocolate brown acrylic paint. Now the colors that I'm using are not necessarily the colors that you would be using. It's just to show you what fun designs you can create in any color you like. Now I'm going to come in here. Start dabbing my brown. Making it look yummy. Bringing it to a little peak. Now I'm going to let that one set up a little bit and then I'll move on to making smaller ones on the side and we'll come back to that one in a few. Now 
on the other fingernail I'll be creating some fun cupcakes as well and the individuals that I'll be making on here you can create it on the tip like this I'm just trying to get in as many as possible in one nail so you could see some ideas okay for this one I'm going to be using a nice green I don't know what color this one is citron green alright so let me start with this one here trying to get a little cupcake shape going there a little liner which is like a flat V Tapping it again. Now I'm going to frost that one with a pink. This is called Sheer Blossom. Now what I'm basically doing is putting the the base coats that I want to come in and decorate in a minute. I went over a little bit too much, but I can always wipe my brush and come back and clean it up. I'll be adding details to those in a minute. The next one that I want to create would be, hmm, let's see, pink one. For the next one, I'm using bright magenta for the cupcake liner. Now for this one, I am going to add a little bit of white. On top of the magenta. Show you how that's coming along. And on top of that white, I'm going to put, I guess we'll try some yellow.
Now I'm going to go back into my white. And just pull it out. And I'm going to go back to the first one. Now for this one, I'm going to make little decorations on it that look like the flowers. And all I'm using is the dotting tool. So let me see if I can get in here close enough. So you're just going to be making five little dots. to create a little flower. If you don't have a dotting tool, you can always use a toothpick or the tip of a pen that doesn't work anymore so it doesn't have ink. Anything at all that you find to help you create this little dots. Don't have to go out and buy any expensive tools or equipment. Normally we'll have things we could use at home. Even the end of a pencil. Okay. That's the little flowers. Now on top of that, I think I'm going to add a little of our magenta again on the top. And in the center of the flowers, I think we'll put some nice purple dots. Well, maybe not purple. Let's see. Maybe a light pink. So I've loaded the daughter with a little bit of pink to finish off our flowers. Always wiping your tools as you use them, keeping them clean. Now for the bottom of our cupcake on here, I'm thinking what color do I want to throw in there that's going to be fun. Maybe a little yellow. For that I'm going to use my striper. Let's see. That gives it some nice contrast and makes it fun. Now I could have gone back and made the red a little darker, but just for ex purposes of um, time, I didn't do it because I would have to wait for that to dry again. But I think that it gave it a pretty cool effect as it was. And that's one cupcake. Now, <clears throat> of course, when all these are done and dry, we will come back and top coat them.
with a clear top uh, coat of polish. Now for these cupcakes here, I'm going to take my striper again. <clears throat> On my pink, I will be using the magenta again. And to that one, I'm going to turn it over here. I'm going to use like a pinwheel effect. So I'm going to come at the top and come across like this, making it look really cute and piped. Always cleaning our brushes in between, like I said before. <clears throat> now, for the liner, I want to put some polka dots in there. And I think I'm going to use, let's see, maybe blue. This is a turquoise blue. Adorable. Now for the top of that one, <clears throat> I'm going to put, let's see, a nice orange candy on top. This is um, just regular orange. Now for our next one, here, I'd like to add some pretty dots as sprinkles on that one. Um, trying to pick a color. Let's go with some purple. Pretty purple sparkles. This one is actually violet. Again, I'm going to come in with my daughter and we'll make it look like we have little bits of candy on there. Now to finish off this one, we can take some orange, make some stripes on the bottom. We'll be using the same orange as before for a liner.
Well, that didn't show up that well, so no problem. If that happens to you, there's no mistakes. We just go and get another color that will show up. But if we use some neon yellow, let's hope that one shows up. Okay, that one worked a little bit better. Just going back, putting a little bit more. And on to that one, um, I think I'll put a neon green candy on top. That is it for right now. So here are your cupcakes, like I said. You can use any cupcake design that we have here. Enlarge it like we have here for the tip. Or you can do, as we did here, smaller cupcakes on the other nails, or just one cupcake on a nail. Depending on the size of the nail, this could be a thumb, or this could be your ring fingers, pinkies, etc. I hope you've enjoyed this and you try it yourself and you have fun. Uh, if you like it, leave me questions, comments, rate it, and share it with your friends. Now I'll be putting a clear top coat on these and we'll be done. Thank you for watching.